Yo, what's happening people? I'm Era from EraTheProducer.com and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can chop up loops in Slicex to make unique sampled beats. Damn, the track. <laughs> So with Christmas being just around the corner, the Pattern Sounds team would like to announce Advent. From the 1st of December all the way through to Christmas, you'll be able to head over to the Pattern Sounds store and download one free loop every day. These loops will only be around till the end of December, so make sure that you're checking out the store each day and claiming your free loops. All loops are 100% royalty free, and we also included the stems and MIDI to every sample too. We'd love to hear anything that you make out of these loops, so tag us on Instagram at Pattern Sounds and we'll be sure to repost it. Merry Christmas from the whole Pattern Sounds team, now let's jump into the video. So just to keep things simple and also to avoid copyright, I'm going to be using day one of the advent loops. When you're sampling, the first couple of things you're going to want to know are the key and BPM of the sample. Because I'm using one of our own samples, I already have that information, but I'm going to show you a few ways that you can find it out if you don't. The first way of doing this would be to play the sample and just count out the first two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I can see the first two bars are ending around here, so I'm just going to use the right shift button and hold left click to create a cut. I'm going to delete this second half for now, and all I need to do is increase this BPM until this two bar clip matches up with the timeline. Once that's done, you can just stretch the rest of the loop back out, and we now know that this sample is at 120 BPM. If you're struggling to find a BPM or you want to stretch the sample to your own tempo then you want to repeat the first step by counting out the first two bars but then instead you want to come up to the audio options and hit stretch and then you can just stretch this clip out till it's two bars long. So now that we've got the BPM sorted the next thing we need to know is the key of the sample. A lot of people do this in Edison, however I find it's not always 100% accurate if the sample is using stuff like pitch manipulation. For me the fastest and most convenient way of finding the key of a sample is by using TuneBack. Using the key and BPM finder you can just select the file from your computer and then TuneBack's going to detect the key and BPM for you. So as you'll see this loop is at 120 BPM and it's in A flat minor. So next we want to take this loop and chop it up to make it unique so I'm just going to double click into the sample, right click on the waveform and I'm going to go to open in slice channel. This will open the sample in SliceX and we now have a few options on how we want to chop the sample up. Towards the right we have this auto slicing function which is going to allow you to choose from either time based slicing or transient based slicing. This sample is 16 bars long so I'm going to be using the large grid slicing option. And what this has done is created a region for every half a bar meaning that everything that we play is going to stay in time. As you'll hear there there's a few clicks and pops where these markers have been placed so we're just going to clean that up. To do this you first just want to select the whole sample and then come into the tool section and then we want to hit D-click in all regions. Next you want to go back into the same menu again but this time select D-click out all regions. And now when we trigger the samples you'll hear that those clicks and pops are gone. So there's two more things that I want to do inside SliceX before we start putting down our pattern. At the moment if I hit two keys at the same time then no samples are going to be triggered on top of each other. What we want is for the last sample to be cut out every time a new one is triggered. To do this you just want to come over to the regions drop down and then you want to select set all cut groups too. I'm just going to set this to one and what this is going to do is send all of these samples to the same cut group. And now every time that I trigger a new sample the one before it is going to be cut out. At the moment when I press the key the sample is only going to play for as long as the key is being held down for. I want to change this so each time that I press a note the entirety of that region is going to be played. And to do this you first just want to make sure that you've got the envelope section turned on. Next you want to come over to the S point, right click here and just hit delete. Then lastly you just want to right click anywhere here to create a new point and drag this out as far as you can go. Now every time that I press the key the audio is going to be played until the end of that region. So all I want to do now is quickly change the pitch of this sample then I can start putting my pattern down. Up in the top left corner we have this slider for changing the pitch however this is also going to change the tempo of your sample. The way that I prefer to do this is to select the whole sample and then hit Alt and T to bring up the time stretching options. You can then use the pitch course setting and this is going to allow you to pitch up or down in semitone intervals. Now that we've got the sample chopped up right and at the key that we want to be working in, we can now start putting down the pattern.
And that is going to bring us to the end of the video. If you like the sound of this sample, then you can download it for free over at the Pattern Sound store. And remember to keep your eyes out for the other 24 loops too. These samples will all be gone by the end of December, so now's the only time to get your hands on them. If you enjoyed this video, or if you learned anything new from it, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. And if you're new to the channel, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button too. We're getting closer and closer to 2K. And as soon as we get there, I'm going to be dropping a huge loop kit for you all. So yeah, if you're not already, then go down and hit subscribe. Shout out to the Patreon gang for suggesting this one. And if you'd like to have a say on what type of content gets uploaded to my channel, as well as bonus content like loops and FLPs, then you need to be subscribed to my Patreon. If you'd like to go and check that out, then I'll leave some links in the video description. Huge thank you to anybody that made it all the way to the end of the video. I've been Error. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one.